Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. So we're following the MBA 800 exam structure, uh, where we we are still in setup business central, which is 2025 percent, and creating and configuring a new company. The next topic we're going to explore is create journal opening balance. So the business center includes several batch jobs that are provided to help in the transfer of legacy account balances to a newly configured company. And you can easily transfer this there with the customer journal or vendor journal or the item journal or uh, GL account journal. So it's the same topic we'll be using configuration packages to transfer data from one company to another one. So I'm, I'm going to use the same company, Kronos, to transfer, um, or you can say to create a journal opening balance. Uh, we'll export from this company and uh, put into a new company, which is totally brand new, and we'll see how it works. So first of all, we need to go to the tell me option and then we go to config pack configuration package and then we can create a new package let's say my pack I'll name it as well my pack now I'm gonna look for item journal if you click three dots you're gonna go to the that out then you search for it item Journal line and then click next. So, that. if you see that we've got so many uh, fields included, and I'm see everything's okay. So, I'm just going to import the whole thing so we can learn how to expo uh, export. Uh, sorry, I'm going to export the whole thing and then we can learn how to import into another company. You can click, click this and see this is there. there. That's in regards to items, and it, it is an item journal. It gives you different dates, entry type, documents number, item number, description, location code, quantity, and received, and everything. You can just go over it, and it will tell you what it is for. That's like a tool tip. So we go back and then export to Excel. I'll pack one, yeah. Export it. So now we're going to go to the other company we created as with no data. Uh, as usual, I've created the same company, like create new, no data. Click that, accept it, open the new uh, the other company. Right, so now we're going to go to configuration package again. Config uh, package. Click there. Add a new package. My pack. My package. Um, we can try again from here to just import the package straight away. Um, let's see what it does. So my packs there. Import. Right and apply there. So there must be errors. Obviously, we just um, importing and exporting the data, so we need to fix those errors once we know what we do. Okay. So here, we, if you click the package records, if you click that, you will see some information. So this is information is imported from the other side, which we exported from Corners Company, and you can see the dates um, already saying posting date was these, entry type is this, and document number, and description and location, etc. If you go right, you will see loads of other things. Uh, quantity, invoice quantity, etc., etc., etc. Press OK. So I've deleted this one. Now we're going to go to the other side. Uh, the other way, what have we done to previous ones? So if you go there, search for item journal 
to lines, uh, click that, and then if you import now again, let's see what it does. So if you import and import the same file, here we go. That's all that's up which was imported from a table uh, from Kronos website. So Kronos website that is there. So this is how we create the journal opening uh, balances, uh, importing and exporting, sorry. So we'll go to the next side of the say, um, this um, item journal lines. But before that, we have to apply that package. That's fine. This is how we import and export data from one company to another company um, for item journal lines. So if we go to Talmi and let's say item journal line, it's going to ask for uh, to create a new journal line. So what what kind of line we're creating? Sales, purchase. Um, positive at um, ADJ MT or negative. So we'll keep to sales just for any document number at the moment. Obviously, we're just learning. Posting date 11th of 10th, and document type is this. And what we're doing is item journal default and then the standard item journal. That's okay. Right, to create it. Right, if you go back in the main screen and search for item journals, so we can see the journal. Okay. This is the journal we ex uh, imported from other side other company, and um, you can see the posting that shows is um, the day it was uh, posted. That means these items uh, posting balance was whatever was their amount it was on that day that day would be let's say if you're moving from coronas to new company uh, that it should be that day uh, date uh, specifically uh, because that is your opening balance and then because it hits uh, on one side it, it, the uh, opening balance um, it goes to different accounts it goes to GL accounts and chart of accounts as well. So, and then it goes plus minus when you buy something or you sell something or whatever. The amount goes up and down, positive, negative, and balance it up. But you need to have opening balance first, obviously, when you start a new company uh, to uh, provide the basic information. So the first thing is um, you need to have uh, journals, uh, vendor, customer, item, or GL. Uh, to provide the first uh, opening balance which is very important and you should have a date so the data when you put it down to different entries uh, through different posting groups uh, then at least um, you have the base that where you started your fiscal year from this amount and then you can see on chart of accounts it, it gives you different amounts for the timing of chart of account in this uh, new company, it's, uh, it should be empty. Yeah, it's empty because it's a brand new company and we just uh, importing and exporting data from different companies to just starting our company. So um, the important thing is uh, just make sure you always check the date and what item, obviously, the name of the item and details and uh, the amount uh, of the opening balance. We can also see the if you create a journal line. So item journal line. So let's create a new one. So we start from here. Let's see. Um, entry type is sale. Document number. Let's put unique one. And posting date, I'm going to put here to 1st of November. And document type, it goes to that, that's fine. Item, 
and uh, best name default and uh, standard um, item journal we are using what we created it's just a brand one of created so and now we need the item which item you want to create so that's what the screw one true uh, static group screws random number let's find the vendor number I'll put the first one no, not more mm, that's okay one will be running not valid check if I've run correct and immediately okay screw is not valid for those data group okay we need to get a group um, okay let's see that try it empty so we try to empty out in the new line six will be created okay If we go to uh, configuration worksheet now, so we can see the line item down lines there. So you assign the package, yeah, and then apply that. The next thing, then you go back to where you were before item. Journal and then what have you done? You, you done a new line or whatever, just do the post. Yeah. Is an error of a major of a unit major in uh, some of this. So once it's fixed, it will go through the account. But, but the problem is, it, it, it's just the understanding of importing and exporting data at the moment. Uh, but when you have set up the chart of accounts and your accounts, uh, then it, you can actually post that data to uh, through your accounts as well, and then it goes to chart of accounts. So thank you for watching my video, and we'll go to the next topic in the next video which is managed security so we go towards the how to create users set up users and assign permissions and security etc